And coming up, I just found out Donna's been cheating on me. Okay. Film at 11. <laughs> is that fast enough for you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. B. Oh. Hi, I'm Mrs. B. And I'm Joel Silver. <laughs> because Donna really likes Joel Silver. <laughs> I'm really high right now. I'm cold medicine. So welcome to another episode of He Saw, She Saw. And this week we're reviewing what movie? The Losers. Is that about the Cleveland Indians? Oh. Bada boom. <laughs> Donna, tell us what it was about. The film is about a group of special forces who call themselves the Losers term of endearment. They are on a search and destroy mission in Bolivia and they get double cross. We're not them. There's any more. We're fugitives. Mm. And then they're presumed dead. So they hang out in Bolivia for a while and um, they hook up with a very hot female operative yeah. who strikes a deal with them to get back into the U.S. Welcome back to the land of the living. And of course she has her own agenda. And then off we go. We aren't, they the after, aren't, aren't they after Max? They're after Max. <laughs> Change of plans. The losers know too much. Kill them. Okay, what does Max have that they want to get? Hmm. I can't tell them. The Snooks. The Snooks. The oh, Snooks. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? What the hell's that about? And it's, it's based. I, I'm like Snook. Snook. It's kind of a. It's a bomb. <laughs> well, you know, this is New Age. Oh, okay. New Age. All mm -hmm. these good terms. Um. I and thought they were after that Snooki from Jersey Shore, right? Isn't that I don't her watch name? The Jersey Shore. Come on, you tell me. Oh, you're me. missing it. No, 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 I don't watch the Jersey Shore. I only watch it when my daughter has it on. That's right. Sure, as you're walking uh, in and out, you in need a lot out. of water back and forth. Okay, but it's a comic book. It's based on a comic book. Gra I'm sorry, graphic yes. novel. They're all called graphic novels now. I'm when I saw that, them. I went, thanks, Donna, for picking this. <laughs> it's a I comic book it. movie. Well, what I saw, um, it, it, I really liked it. I, I really did. I, Why? I liked it because, but you know, like I just said. Tell our five viewing audience of members out there. All 46 people who are going to watch this on YouTube. It makes no apologies. It's fun. Uh, there's some humor in it. Over the top scenes that do not drag on forever. And um, I, you know what, I tell you, this is a big thing for me. And, and we talk about this in the other movies we've reviewed. Mm -hmm. um, is that I, I felt all the actors believed what they were doing. You know that if we do this, we are waging a war against the Central Intelligence Agency. They started it. They, there was truth in it. They they had a good time. They carried out their character, made made their character, you know, their character believable mm -hmm. as far as their acting. And they committed to it. And that's real important for me in a movie. Whether or not it's my type of movie or not, as if as if they can carry out their premise I'm, I'm, I'm along with the ride. How come every time they're in like trouble, they like run away from their hotel room or whatever with nothing, and then the next scene, they're carrying all this multi-million dollar equipment around with them? It's a movie! It's <laughs> a movie! Oh my god! I'm the Black MacGyver! What I saw was kind of a Mission Impossible on a White Castle budget. Mm -hmm. You ever take a woman out to dinner at White Castle? <laughs> it's a comic book. It's a comic book. It's a comic book. <laughs> Wasn't this guy the brother on Everybody Loves Raymond too? Didn't he play the brother? No, that dude. That dude is like this. That dude, that dude is like this tall. Okay, he's very tall. Oh, come back in the shot. Oh, sorry. sorry, Brad. Brad Garrett. Yes, I don't know. Oh, I it's thought like, he was. You watch network TV. Yeah. I think this one because it, it doesn't go deep into all this backstory and stuff. I think that anybody who likes kind of a fun action-type movie. We'll enjoy it. Thank you. There's a, some sexuality, not... Oh, that nothing. part. Yeah, I forgot about that. I like well, it. <laughs> See, that's another thing. The boys feel like they got tricked by Zoe, and the next scene, the guy's making love to her. Oh. You know? She's hot. I liked her better when she was blue. Yeah, I don't she would do, go out blue. Out I don't do that blue stuff. <laughs> no, no. Guys haven't seen Avatar yet? Uh, no, no, oh. no Avatar here. <laughs> no, not. Welcome back to the Stone Ages, ladies and gentlemen. So here's what I saw. You could tell the good guys were good guys because they wanted to save the children at the beginning of the movie. Right. And you could tell the bad guys were bad guys because they blew up all their children and killed them. <laughs> How about that uh, Jason Patrick is uh, I like the villain. I like right. it. It's a comic book he was movie. We have to say villain. Yeah. I think he, he took you just enough. Mm -hmm. to the, he seemed like your typical 
uh, this rich <laughs> a Republican. And, then, oh! and, and, and every time he shows up, he plays it better. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons I liked it too, is because everybody just kind of played their role, took it just far enough yeah. for it to not be too crazy, too, too, too over the yeah, top. There wasn't too any, exaggerated. No teeth gnashing or twirling a right. mustache. I kind of, right. yeah. Are you a big fan of Zoe? I love Zoe. I yeah. think she's, uh, I just saw the uh, Death at a Funeral and she was just in that. Totally different character. Mm. And uh, I like her. She's, she's uh, witty. Mm -hmm. She's hot. She has... Kind of like me, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You need <laughs> He's the female me. Your, <laughs> I like the big fight she had with that guy. Oh, yeah. Around the hotel room. Oh, yeah, she had That was like foreplay, wasn't it? <laughs> It, 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 was it? Yeah. yeah. I know, we're sitting there watching it, and she gets, does, turns around and slaps him with that, that long leg that just... With, with the boot out. I know. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, she was good, though. She's got the accent going and uh, everything, you know? I think mm -hmm. she's a part... Uh, part Navi. She, she's she part Navi. Oh, yeah? What the fuck is Navi? Navi. That's the tribe and avatar. <laughs> you gotta get out, girl. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message. Hit it. Navi. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say Dominican Republic. I couldn't think of the, uh, the Latino name for it. <laughs> a lot of Navis down in uh, wherever. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. So I'm gonna give you that one. Oh, really? You know there's another one coming. Is there? I think so. The losers too? The losers. <laughs> the losers. Do? The real bad losers. Um, so as long as there's more sex with Zoe in it, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, really. I sex with Zoe. Like, I like what you twirled her hair around. Twirled it around. I know a lot of women that do that during sex. Wee! <laughs> I can't do it can myself. Can <laughs> I thank you, you for know? choosing a short movie. Yeah. I appreciate but, that. Yeah. How long was Avatar? Four hours. About two Break. days. <laughs> we had breakfast and then we came back. Smoke. Yeah. And uh, I think if you're on the fence about a movie and you've got some it's time painful. to do a little... It is. Yeah, yeah, it's on the fence. I know, yeah. It's, it's waiting. You know, so, you know, sometimes those little things... Uh, They'll stay with you, you know, like mm -hmm. yippee ki motherfucker, you know right? Motherfucker. I'm going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> don't bleep it out. Don't bleep it's, it out. It's, 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 it's the internet. We don't have to bleep. Oh, that's right. No, I listen to the radio in the morning. 98.5. Oh, really? 98.5. 98.5. Somebody we know and love's on there. Mm, yeah. Scott Miller. Scott Miller. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> so I saw a movie that was not my genre. I was to say what I saw. Oh, I am I? You saw. <laughs> Medicine, you are. It's Woo. good stuff. It's huh? good stuff, yeah. So, Donna saw a movie of this particular genre that she really liked. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, simply here has taken too much Sudafed. So, I don't know what so I saw, but five, she no, saw something. Right. What, what, what he saw was a movie that, uh, under protest, I wanted to see it. He saw a movie that, eh, he's not really into the genre. He, um, for something that talks a little bit about the human condition. I'm sure Avatar did. Wow, I'm sure Avatar. That <laughs> That's a marginal for you. You probably wouldn't well, remember. Yeah, it was entertaining. It kept moving. It was entertaining. Okay. Kept moving. I mean, if you're into the that genre, I would recommend this movie. Okay. There you go. What, um, what I saw was a movie that I, I thought fulfilled its premise. I thought all the characters uh, gave some truth to their portrayal. Okay. And, um, um, and I think you can like this movie even if you're not a big graphic novel, DC comic, Marvel comic, kind of <laughs> dork. I was in it for the biceps, um, mm. uh, the chest hair. The um, sex, the hot sex. The, the hot. Literally hot sex. Hot sex. That room was flaming. flaming. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it looked like it'd be fun when I saw the previews. And it was fun. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what we saw. Okay. All right. What's, what are we watching next? Well, coming in the future, Robin Hood, we know that for sure. Right. I don't know the next one, though. I think Robin Hood's out in two weeks. Oh, okay. Then that's it. Stay tuned. Of all the love I have.